Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I have uh, my review for the planners that I bought a couple weeks ago. So a couple weeks ago, I bought the budget planner and the productivity planner fun from funcheaporfree.com. That is done by Jordan Page for those who live under a rock, I feel like. Um, Jordan Page is a YouTuber. She also does a bunch of different, a few different systems, including a budget as well as a productivity system. Uh, she has boot camps as well as planners, and I got the planners. Um, they were there was a sale because of Mother's Day, and so I finally went ahead and took the plunge. Um, if you haven't seen my unboxing for these, I will link it up there or I will try to or I will link it below. If you haven't seen that, definitely go back and check that out first uh, before you get into it. So I just kind of want to uh, update for things that I felt like working, who I think this planner is really good for, is it worth the money, all of that other stuff. So we will start with the budget planner because I have that out first. I will be flipping through it so I make sure I don't forget anything. So if I look down, that is why I am looking down. Uh, so I really focus on doing both of these planners for the couple weeks that I have had them. Um, I really wanted to fully commit to them and doing all the systems that they have in place. Um, Pluses. I will say that um, I love their goal system and as well as their tracking. So they have goals that you can put um, short term, one year, five year, as well as um, other types of goals. Um, and I loved that. I also love their tracker. Um, they have a savings goal tracker, which is very visual. It looks like this. There's so many different spots you can have smaller amounts, larger amounts. Um, I already have done my sinking fund for this month. Anyone who doesn't know, a sinking fund is an amount that you save throughout the year. So let's say, for example, you want to spend $1,000 for Christmas. You save that throughout the year um, so that when Christmas comes, you don't have to spend it all at the same time. So you can do sinking funds for pretty much anything, anything that you know is coming. Um, I did it for holidays. I put holidays and gifts all together and I've already done that um, as well uh, as something else um, that I and blanking on but I've already done my sinking funds for this month uh, for this year so I will do this again next year um, after I need to start saving those again uh, but I love that it's extremely visual and able to track what I will say is there's a lot of information about debt so debt to tracking your debt how much you still owe your payments that you're making all the information about your debt. Uh, there's a lot of pages for that. I haven't figured out how I can use those pages uh, because there's so many. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm determined that I will find it out. I will figure out a way. Um, I love their holiday and gift tracker, um, that it's detailed, um, detailed enough but not too detailed, if that makes any sense. So I love that. Um, what I will say is that this, the budget, the planner really goes for people who have more than one person in the household spending the money. So if you are married, if you have a roommate, if you have a significant other that you split bills with, um, this would totally help you. Um, it has stuff for person A, stuff for person B. It is very specific that way. Um, and you're able to really lay everything out. Um, it has questions at the end of every week, kind of what went the weekly weigh in is what they called kind of like a budget meeting. And if it is uncomfortable talking about money, or if you just normally do not do it, um, it lays it out very specifically um, so that you can just ask the questions on the page and you it, it will make it not as uncomfortable. 
for people who are by yourself, it can get like, it can feel like there's a lot of empty pages where you're not fully using it because it's only you buying everything. So for example, for me, it is only me buying everything. I don't have, I don't live with somebody. I don't have a roommate. I live with my daughter who's only four. Uh, so it doesn't count. Um, but I'm the only person spending everything. So I have found ways to use the other pages. So like the weekly spending sheet that where you uh, track all your spending for that week, it has person A and person B. And so the idea is like, let's say the wife does the grocery shopping and the husband goes to the pharmacy or whatever it is that works for your family, uh, you're able to track it from what each person is doing. Um, I have found a way to, that works for me. So even if you only have one person, this is definitely a way that you can still do it. So I have a checking account and then I have a savings and then I have a savings account and I have um, a visa account. So my visa, what I normally do for my spending is I do almost always put it on my visa, and, but then I will pay it right away. So I don't have an owing amount on my visa ever, um, or for, at the end of the billing period, it'll always be total. I always pay it off. Uh, the reason I do this for mine, the way that it works for me and my system is I get cash back, um, for all my purchases that I put on my visa. So it just, I make more money that way. So what I've been doing for the weekly spending tracking sheets, um, is I have one for my visa and I have one for my checkings. Usually my checkings is just my bills, paying my visa. That's where I get my, you know, deposits coming in and stuff like that. So I'll just, I use both of them for the two different accounts that I mainly use. So that is a way that you can still use all of the amounts. Um, I love the fact that they have notes pages at the end of every week. Um, why I like that is because, so they do have a monthly income. So this is your monthly budget and it has a budget amount in your actual amount um, but a lot of times in on a category I won't have it all come out at the same time so for example in my budget I have subscriptions in there because I have a few different subscriptions subscriptions that come in throughout the month so what I use the note pages for is at the end of the week when I do my weekly weigh-in with myself um, I will total up everything that I've spent in that category so all of my food all of my subscriptions whatever I have whatever has come out of my account that week and I will put the total in the notes pages the reason I do this is because I don't want to put it in my actual budget because I know the amounts not through but I definitely want um, an accumulation total as the month goes on so I know how much I have left so that if there's another bill that is going to come out, another subscription, I can pause it or cancel it if I'm reaching my limit. So I really do like that. I found a use for all of the pages that are in here. Um, and that is what I have been doing that has worked for me. Um, I definitely, I think part of my flaw and my problem was that I was tracking it, but it was just in a book. And so I would just make my budget and then try and track it as the month went on, but it would get very confusing and I would just kind of give up. So it was just hard to track everything. And I feel like this breaks it down every week and every week I'm able to go through each category. What have I spent on food? What have I spent on subscriptions? What bills are coming out? What is going on with my money? up to that point so it's it's just easier for me to track with this planner so I definitely have found uses for all of the pages um, one of the pluses I really liked was the spending freeze so they have a spending freeze that they suggest to do once a month you do it for seven days and you don't spend any money at all 
I did not accomplish the seven days. I did spend less than I normally would have, but I did have to go out midway through the week to get my daughter some juice and some food because she is a more pickier eater. Um, so I definitely know that I will be doing it next month and the, week, and the month after. Um, I just need to make sure that I plan ahead for that and I'm better prepared um, so that I know that I have everything that, she, that we will need throughout the month. But it definitely has, it opened my eyes to how much I'm really spending, what I'm really spending on, and is it really important. At the beginning of the week, there was some stuff that I thought I needed. So I went into Amazon, I put it in my Amazon cart, I left it there um, and I left it there until the spending freeze was over and after that I went back and I was like but do you really need that do you really need that and because so long had went had passed by like it's not really necessary you can do without it and it just kind of made me really think about my money and be more intentional so if you were trying to really be more intentional with your money definitely try and do a spending freeze even if you do it just once um, it's just very eye-opening for what you're really spending and is it really worth it and how much you have in your house because like I was able to do most of my groceries with this most of the stuff in my house um, so it really made me look at what really I had in my house and what for really why do I have so much food all the time so um, it is very eye-opening and definitely something that should be done what I will say is I don't think the planner is would be beneficial for someone who is maybe young who is starting out who has one bank account and one system and you know like doesn't have a lot of bills coming out doesn't have a lot of things going on I could see how this would be very overwhelming if you are just by yourself single um, there's just a lot of pages and a lot going on um, so I could totally see how this system might be overwhelming it really is built for people who ha have a lot going on who have numerous people in their household um even if you are a mother like if my daughter was older I would this would totally be very helpful so you just have to think about how much is really in there because there's a lot in there and I have found ways to use all the pages and I don't feel like I'm being wasteful for most of them um I would probably suggest that they do one without debt um the debt pages there's just so many debt trackers and debt things uh, that it would be beneficial um, for someone like me who doesn't have any debt um, I'm hoping that I can find a way to use those pages but if I can't they were just kind of a waste so it would be probably beneficial if they did a non debt planner um, and for anyone who has less going on and it's just easier to track like your totals and stuff like that this planner probably isn't for you you could probably just do it in a notebook the same principle um, I do believe in the principle of the you know the whole thing um, but if it wasn't in your budget for this planner then you could do it in a notebook and it would be just as beneficial for anyone else who has other stuff going on if you live with other people this would be very helpful to just get everyone on the same page now for the productivity planner um, I have been using it I use it every day I leave it open on my coffee table so like this is today the day that I'm filming it and it has been sitting open on my coffee table so I check things off as I go along. When I got it, I wasn't 100% convinced that it was going to be as life changing as it is for some people, only because I was doing a similar system in just a planner I had. But there are some large differences that I really, really love this planner and it has made me more productive, more intentional with my time and just more aware of what I'm really doing and what I'm really spending my time on. So one plus 
for at least this is all for me obviously but one plus for me is that there are so many blocks so this is the page this is how many blocks you can do you can do your own times based on your schedule so this is just my schedule at the moment um at the moment i am not working because in canada most things are closed because we've been in lockdown for eight million years um but if other things come up, I can always change my blocks based on the situation, based on the circumstances that I have before me. So I really love that fact. Um, I love that at the beginning of the week, there is a to-do list. So I am a huge goal person. I need goals for myself. I've learned this about me over time. I need goals so that I if I feel like I'm, try, I'm aiming to achieve something. I have an end goal in mind and I whenever I hit that I go for another one um, it's just the way my brain works but a lot of times I make a goal for the year for three months whatever it is but I just kind of put it away and then you don't think about it that is a flaw in the plan so I love that this breaks it down every week so I'm able to break down my larger goal my goal for the whole year into monthly and then weekly goals every week I can do different goals that will help me achieve the longer term so I love that fact um, when I first got this so this is the weekly meal planner and I think I said in my review that I wasn't sure I was going to use this I have a meal planning sheet and I do meal plan all the time but it's on my fridge and it's just a dry erase board that I was using um, the reason I did started using this was I used it during the spending freeze because on the right side of the page there is a shopping and inventory list and I have been using that for my inventory so when I do my video plan I will write down everything that I have and I will focus my meal plan on that first um, before I focus it on stuff that is on sale or what I have to, what I want to buy at the store so I think that has helped um, with my shopping a little bit I still have a long way to go to really get it down to the amount that I want it to be but it definitely has helped because a lot of times I make plans and I'm like oh but do I really have a can of tomatoes I don't want to get up and check so I'll just put it on the list so then I just buy another one um, when you might not have needed to do that so um, this just makes meal planning a lot easier I feel like and I really love it so I've been using this um, and then I make the meal plan for the whole week of what I need and then when I'm filling out my blocks for that day on my block on my page I will put down what I've decided to make that day right here if I make it at the end of the day I review the day and that's also one of the pluses is that there's an a there's a morning checklist and a night checklist which I love and at the night I really go over my day I review what worked what hasn't worked what I've accomplished what I haven't accomplished as well as what I really made um, and then I check it off the meal plan anything that is still left so let's say I just didn't get to make something that week for whatever reason um, then I just automatically move that over to my meal plan for the next week because I already know that I already have the stuff for that um, so I really like it um, I what I did so they have a month at a glance as well as a habit tracker that I have been filling out. I put a little post-it on it um, so that when I need to, when I'm reviewing my day at the end of the day, I can flip to it very easily. Um, and then I put a second post-it, which is for this week. So this post-it is, is for my, week, my meal plan for this week as well as my to-do list for this week and so then I will move this post-it note over which is one way that um, I have felt like has worked for me I didn't do that at first but then if you close the book you have to flip through and find your page and so I just 
the tabs have really helped. So I do think this that it could be good for a wide variety of people. Um, I think that it just helps you to be more intentional with your time. I love that it puts everything all together. Um, a lot of times I was doing things in like three different notebooks and it was just getting a little confusing. So this will put everything all together. It's, it's very concise, it's very clear, um, and it's very hard to not be organized when you have a system like this and you follow the system. You do have to make sure you actually do it and follow it the way it is meant to be followed in order for it to work. But it definitely helps you be more productive, more intentional with your time, more intentional with your money. So I definitely recommend these two planners for sure, especially if you're feeling a little lost or feeling like the day kind of blends on and if at the end of the week you can't go back and go, what did I really accomplish? Then did you really accomplish anything? Um, this will really help you to be more focused, to really accomplish your goals. So I think everyone could use that at least now in this time and age, whether you're working or not working or whatever is going on in your life. This will just bring more organization and a better system to your life. So definitely would recommend them. They do have a budget planning boot camp as well as a productivity boot camp um, if you need more help. So if they do have QR codes that you can scan for the planners once you buy them and um, it will give you kind of a video of how to if you need some help with like how to use it. But if you feel like you still need some more help and more direction if you are really bad with budget or you are really bad with productivity then they do have a boot camp for you but for i feel like most people um you just want to be a little bit better um my suggestion would be just to get the planner the planners first whether you need the budget one or the productivity one just get the planners first because a lot of their teachings is already built into the planners by itself. So you don't need to get the boot camp in order to use the planners. You can just use the planners if you want to. So my suggestion would be to do that first, um, unless you feel like you really, really need more focused and one-on-one -on -one help. Um, I hope this has helped give you a little bit more insight definitely comment below if you have any questions about things that i have used with the planners that i have um, i'll be more than happy to answer any of them of just my experience i might do a plan with me video coming up with maybe the next week or then at, at the end of the month uh, to show you kind of how i plan things how i'm using planners really take like watch have you watch me really do it um so that hopefully that will that might help give some more clarity for anyone who needs it uh thank you very much for watching i hope you guys have a, have had a lovely and fantastic week definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more if you would like to see more planning videos definitely comment below let me know and uh, again thank you very much and i hope you guys have a lovely and fantastic day